Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music again. Going to break down Elton John's classic tune right now. Also, real quick, I appreciate you supporting Marty Music. You can get some free courses when you sign my newsletter. First comment will take you there. Appreciate that support, you guys. Anyway, let's learn the tune. All right, quite a few little parts to learn. Kind of got that Rolling Stones guitar vibe. Uh, we're going to start with this little piece of a G chord, but we're covering the 12th fret of the D, G, and B. We're really targeting the G and B strings. Really G and B on those. So check out the technique here. You're covering the 12th fret, and then you're hammering on the 14th fret, so a whole step up on that G string, and a half step up on the B string as you bar that down. Whole step down. And so the rhythm's a little different on each one. Dun dun, you know. Then we go to the fifth fret. It's all the same technique. And this time it's da, 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 da. So from the top. Starts over again. So a little different rhythm. Da, 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 da. And then this is the same. So from there, we're in a G groove. There's two guitar parts, obviously. But so we got G, 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 F, 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 C, 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 back to G, 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 G. So that's when the vocals are in there. So when the vocals come in, we're going to play a G chord. So we've got G major right here. And you can play power chords. So it's G, whole step down, so that's the eighth fret, to F. Then a C chord, which you could play right here with the root on eight of the E. You also have the power chords of that, like. So it does the G, F, C, does that part. Then when you hear that cool kind of chord change, it's D minor for two measures. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now it changes, kind of like changes keys. Now it's playing that G progression in the key of C. So you'd have C, B flat, F, back to C. So check this out. C, B flat, F, C. Now, 8E, you know, the 8th fret, you'd play C right here. To B flat. And F right here. And so, there's multiple little guitar nuances, cool blues rock rhythm techniques going on, um, besides obviously just knowing that those are the roots. So when you're in C, you know, like little, 
you got the little Chuck Berry thing. You've also got like for the C chord. So if you can see that chord where the middle finger already is and then just the, the top, the G and B of it. And for the B flat. And then the F you could play all the way up here. You also always have this. All right, so what we did was the vocals come in and it's playing the G. C. It's gonna go through that again, you repeat it and then it goes to D minor. Now, B flat, F, So there's a transition from the groove that's in the key of C now with a walk up that starts on the open E. So O, one, two, third fret into a G chord. So check that out from the C. So let's figure that out. G, G two, three, four, E flat. So I'm playing an E flat. Bam, you know, you're barring it across the sixth fret and then the eighth fret, D, G, B. Then a B flat, so that E shape. And the guy, whoever's playing it, sorry, your name. I don't have it at the second. Thumb over there. It's probably a thumb thing, but I can do this sus this way. And I'm just letting my pinky grab that eighth fret G from this chord. And that pinky's just naturally muting the B string, so you're not hearing it. Okay, so so from the uh, C. So D flat, D, uh, uh. Then starts on the same same thing up a whole step. C sus. I'm doing it like that. You might see a guy go. So da 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 down on the G major chord. Then you uh, it's D minor F G, which D minor is also right here. 
I, for whatever reason, it just sounds better for me right there. You could play even a D minor seven. It's a little more colorful, maybe just a regular D minor, but so you got. So that is the next section. Then we're gonna just basically go through the whole form again. There's only one more iconic part that I have to show you. And the only thing from there is just feeling the arrangement. Um, but really, we got everything. We got the parts, you know, the verses are in G, then C, then we finally got the other new part. Here's the final part. Think of it this way, the uh, C, the C part, right? C, 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 then B flat. Then F, which is barred across the eighth. Then back to this C right here. So we're just doing kind of the Keith Richards uh, sus4 kind of thing without his special tuning. We take the ring finger and we just replace it with the index finger. And then we're gonna be adding a whole step up on the D and a one half step up on the B, like this. Kind of hit it, then hammer it. So you just do the same thing for that B flat, a whole step down. And then for the F chord, same thing. You'd be, your index would be across the 10th, and you'd be adding a whole step up on the D, half step up on the B. Then back to the first one, which is barred across the fifth for, for that C. Now what's kind of fun, it sounds a lot better when you're uh, hearing the bass or the, the root, which we're not hearing right there. So real quick, I'm gonna use my looper and just play the, the main power chords. One, two, three, four. But th that's the form. You're gonna you're gonna go back to, just like if you do that Saturday that new part. You do that, then it goes to D minor, and there's just some extra like psychedelic things in there. But it's the exact same form of D minor. All right, one, two, three, four, two, two, three. Now we're back in C. All the form. Everything's the same. So. And then eventually it goes through the form the same way we just did it, ending, culminating with. All right, there was, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's a song, a lesson, technique, gear review, anything you'd like to see, you can let me know in the comments below and while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. I really do appreciate that extra support, you guys. Thank you again, hope to see you real soon.